Hey kids, Kelly of Kelbell Studio here with a little bit of a different tutorial, paper craft tutorial. This is going to be a daffodil, and I've named this the Kelbell Daffodil because it's not quite like anything in life, but kind of similar. So you can do these in any color you want. It doesn't have to be something from life, but basically we're going to do this. These make great little spring arrangements for your little bud vases and you have them forever. So you don't have to ever throw them out unless you get tired of them and you don't like them anymore. So these look uh, just adorable in this, this little bud vase. So this is what we're going to do. You can find the daffodil template on my blog and this is what it's going to look like. I'll leave a link in this video. Also in the description of this video. Now what you're going to notice on this is there's a little teeny tiny dot in the center of your petal and that is to help you get it centered. So I'll show you how to use that. This is just going to be a down and dirty quick tutorial. Okay so I've got my pieces cut out in the colors that I want them in. So I've got uh, white petals and obviously green leaves because there is there any other kind well maybe but we're not going to go into that so the dot in the center is so that you can line up your petals and what you want to do is you want to just pierce it with the piercing tool this is a quilling tool that I'm piercing this with or that I've already pierced it with and then they line up very nicely so that all I have to do is twist or turn these until I have them how I like them because obviously you don't want it to be like this you want your petals to be nice and evenly spaced so once you get that the way you like it then you can just apply a little glue to the center and glue these two pieces together next you're going to need some floral wire and how long your wire is going to be is really going to depend on how long you want your stem so I'm just going to take and insert the wire up to that center hole. So you can either make your hole bigger or just make sure that you put a little glue on the tip of this so that your fabric, whatever your wire is wrapped in, if your wire is wrapped, that it doesn't start coming apart on you. So then I'm just going to take a pair of plier and I'm going to make a loop in this so I have something to glue onto my petal. Basically I have something that looks like this and I've just bent this down so that it lays flat there. So now I'm just going to add a little glue, so pull it down, add some glue and you can just glue that little center in there. So one of the things that I like to do to maybe cover up this center to make it easier for us to put our trumpet on there is to just get a little scrap piece of paper and punch a circle with just a regular quarter inch hole punch. So it'll look like that. So for the center, you're going to want to find some tissue paper that you want to use to make that center with. And I'm going to be using a, a punch, but I gave you a circle in your template, so you can certainly use that. Now with the punch, it kind of doesn't do very well with tissue paper alone so I'm going to back it with a piece of paper and I'm just using a quarter inch circle punch and that is the exact size of the circle I gave you so if you're doing it manually and not with a punch at least you'll have the right size. circles and what I'm going to do with these is carefully fold them in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again and then one last 
last time. Don't worry, we're not keeping these like this. And then I've got a mini scallop edge scissor. I'm just going to give that a little edge. Like that. So then I can open these out. What this is going to do, it's also going to make it easier to find our center. And then I'm going to get a paintbrush or a pencil. I happen to like this paintbrush. And you're just going to just take this one. You're just going to take your circle and smoosh it up kind of like this. And then you're going to add a little dab of glue onto that, and we'll plunk it in the center of our daffodil. Okay, so we have something that looks like this now. So next, you just want to take the other, your other two circles do the same thing. So twist it up, add a little glue, and then onto your daffodil. And then you can futz with this, you know, smoosh it around, gather it up until you get it the way you like it. And then we can just give this, give our little petals just a little bit of a crease, maybe fold them up a bit, add some dimension to them. you can pretty much do, you know, whatever you want with these. So now I have my, my Kel Bell variety daffodil. We're not quite done yet. We've got a couple more things to do. We can fold this down a little bit. So it's kind of like that. And I've given you something that looks like this. I don't know what you really call these. I've seen them called calyxes, so I'll go with that. And I'm just going to bend it. And then this will go up at the top. It's sort of that bud covering. So, something like that. Just glue it around the wire. And then lastly, I'm using the smaller of the two leaves, but you know, feel free to cut these down if they're too big. And I just added a crease in the center. You can do that with a stylus, something with a ball on the end where you're just taking it and you're, you know, running it up the center to help give you that crease. But basically, I'm going to wrap this around the wire too, and maybe I'll just give it a little curl. down a little bit. Something like that. And then I can take and put my glue on there and wrap this around. Now I'm putting this in a bud vase. So I've already got one here that I made. And I don't want too many leaves in here, so you might want to go easy on the leaves. So. So really the only other thing we have left to do, I may have said that already, I think I say that a lot, is to figure out what size we want. I've got this little bud base and clearly this is too long for 
this bud vase, so I'm just going to arbitrarily cut it down. See if that works. Yep. So you can arrange these, you know, make them taller or shorter so that you don't get them too sort of sterile. I kind of want them staggered in length, and these are going to want to tip over to the side, so it's something like that. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, templates are on my blog, so feel free to visit me there. Also, if you do post your projects, you know, it would be nice to have a link back to my blog. Just saying, you know, if you're enjoying my work and enjoying these templates, that would be, I would really like that. So have fun. <laughs>